reside. Levy. Ah. Oh, it's gone, okay. At Payden J420. Justin Payden or is it Padden? How are we doing this? One, thank you for your suggestion. Um, I'm gonna get to it now. Hello, my name is Riz Il and I'd like to welcome everyone else back to my channel. And uh, we're gonna be doing a 50s spoof film. It's a short film. Um, I forgot who made this. I had to Wikipedia it first before I decided to do this reaction. Uh, it was made in 2004 though. And it is titled, uh, Billy's Dad is a Fudge Packer. So, um, Hayden J420. Do you smoke weed? Um, anyways, uh, I'd like to thank you for the suggestion and we're going to get to it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to react to it. And I'm going to see what's up. I feel like this is something something different. I haven't done like um, one of those short skit films that much since... Was it the Dave Chappelle video where you put, suggested this thing or like also the Shane Gillis uh, short, like, short little skits that he does? Either way, let's see what this is about because I, I'm not too sure by the title what it is. It, what in what context they are talking about this? School's out for the day, and some of the gang is headed off to old Mr. Johnson's vacant lot to throw the ball around. Not today, fellas, Billy tells them. I've got a homework assignment. Good job, Billy. With career day coming up, Billy's head is spinning with possibilities. What kind of man will he become? Look, Billy. It's sister. Billy sometimes wishes he had things as easy as her. All she has to worry about is being pretty. And social. And making a good wife someday. Come now, Billy. You know better than to compare yourself to a girl. Of course you'll have to work harder. This is the way things are. Because this is the way things should be. Now, more than ever, Billy's determined to do a good job. Dad's home. Billy's dad is a fudge packer. At the local candy factory. Father needs to relax after a long and draining day. Mother tries her best to help him loosen up. Ah, uh, uh, Dad likes to do his own teabagging. What's that? A knock at the back door. Yes, Father is always willing to accept visitors through his back door. But Mother has to remind him his work is done for the day. She'll take this one. It's Betty Henderson, the grocer's wife. She's arrived with the finishing touches for dinner. She always knows just what mother needs. Betty is very independent for a woman, but it's okay because her husband isn't at home. While he serves his country overseas, Betty is minding the store, delivering her goods to all the wives in the neighborhood. Nutritious things like eggs and avocados. Dinner's almost ready and everyone helps out. Sister sets the table. Billy pours the milk. And while mother checks the bird, Betty offers some helpful hints on using the turkey baster. 
Oh, be careful, Billy. You'll spill on yourself before dinner. Say, don't you have homework to do? Mother likes Betty and is always open to a helping hand. Oh, thank you, says Mother. Mother's saving up green stamps to get Sister some jewelry for her birthday. Boy, will Sister be surprised. Why, she's asked just about every boy in town to give her a pearl necklace. Betty appreciates Mother's interest in stamp licking and decides to throw in a little extra, knowing how close Mother is to her final goal. Betty is good at her job. She has a knack for fulfilling the needs of each and every housewife on the block. And now it's time... Okay, we're gonna get past the fact that this is full of, like, sexual innuendo. Um, let's just get into the story. Okay, so... Uh, Without sugarcoating it, uh, Betty is basically trying to pull a, uh, a, a episode one of Friends when he find out Ross's wife um, left him for her lesbian partner that was, was supposed to be her best friend. Uh, I'm with my best friend going here, I'm with my best friend going to trips and going to shows and all of that. And uh, it turns out um, her best friend was fucking the shit out of her. Oh no. It's a woman who was scissoring the shit out of her. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. That's that's where we're at, okay. And uh, it seems that she's for the streets too. Okay, let's continue. Time to enjoy a healthy supper. No matter how long and hard a day Dad's had fudge packing, he's never too tired to toss the salad. Dinner time is family time, a chance to share the events of your day. Uh, I have to write an essay for career day at school. Why, Billy, that's an important assignment. What do you suppose you'll write about? Golly, I don't know. When I grow up, I'm not sure if I want to be a policeman or a cowboy. Huh. Well, when I was your age, I was in exactly the same boat. Policeman or cowboy. Maybe a construction worker or even an Indian. It wasn't until I was a few years older that I knew fudge packing was right for me. Gee, Dad. I guess I never really knew what you did at work. Well, Father please. mentions that he rises at the crack of dawn. He comes early five days a week to the Creamy Pleasures Candy Factory. Where, as a head supervisor, Father has several men under him and likes to stay on top of things. He knows there will be less friction if his men work together as a well-oiled machine. Uh, Father is a courteous boss. Uh, uh, uh. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, man. No, no, no. As I said before in a previous reaction, I'm fine with lesbians. I mean, um... Uh, the morality and all of that, and the talk about morality aside, uh, I'm, as a as a dude, I I, I love lesbians, but uh, nah, man, nah, <laughs> no, I. He knows Mr. Stevens appreciates the gesture of having his stool pushed in. I fuck no. But he also understands that it's important to maintain his position, and he must be a little rigid. Make sure that's not dirty, Sanchez. Yes, father keeps a tight grip on things and in the end is satisfied each and every day. And so, young Billy, that is my day. Gee, Dad, do you think fudge packing is for me? Too soon to tell, Billy. Too soon to tell. <laughs> uh, yes, 
look for these other modern knowledge educational titles. Thalidomide, wonder drug of the future. Why do we have colored people? And there's no room for that kind of thinking in a free country. Wait, let me see if there's anything else. Let me switch off the video and then let me see. Okay. Okay, no. The rest of it is just credits. Okay. Okay. To pre-answer the one, why do we have colored people? It's because um, uh, whether people believe it or not, uh, we are all descended from Africa. Africa is the beginning of it all. And uh, as human beings moved from place to place, uh, they developed as per their environments. You know, there's no real, there's no, okay, there is a difference between different human beings, but we all are sort of in the same, like uh, white people out there, you're meant to be black, but uh, once upon a time, your ancestors moved up north, and now uh, here you are. Uh, <laughs> so uh no, let me not even get into that uh, in terms of this okay so this is um uh, a basically um uh, a spoof film uh basically uh i feel like it's it, it, it's like a mask spoof film it's like this situation is actually like real in that world but uh it's been explained in a very sugar-coated and masked way like um basically the gist of this entire thing is um the father is gay, and the mother is uh, sort of gay, and uh, the sister is uh, low-key a hoe. Uh, so, <laughs> so the father goes and does gay activities, the mother is banging um, the local grocer's wife who's at war, and um, what you call the sister is out here. Um, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Um, <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it, even though... He, um, or am I overthinking it, guys? Um, is this one of those things where it's just like a little spoof film? It's just a little joke. But honestly, I feel like it should be like uh, what I said, where it's like um, sort of like a spoof mask film dedicated to that type of situation. Because I feel it's more fun in terms of, okay, for me, in terms of my imagination, it feels like, imagine if like stories like that, that like I referenced uh, the Ross thing in Friends. Yes, I've watched Friends. Um, I've watched all the episodes of Friends. It's just that I don't remember it uh, that much. Uh, but yeah, I, I imagine if like situations like uh, Ross from Friends, his situation where it's like his wife was banging her best friend, and then they went, uh, they ended up going off and getting into this whole lesbian marriage and relationship and everything. You know, if it was a uh, a situation like that, wouldn't it be funny if it was explained in this context to like maybe his children or something? It's like guys, the reason why your mom left me is because she likes uh, licking uh, aunts. Aunt Carol stamps, or is Carol the the wife that um was having an affair? I think her name was Carol, bro. It's been a while. I watched Friends in high school. Uh, but yeah, man, I'd like to think of it like that. Like this is a whole thing where um he's in a house full of uh homosexuals and hoes, and uh, <laughs> uh I I mean that I mean that in a in a in a in between way. I don't mean it as an insult, and I don't mean it as a uh what you call um positive or whatever i just mean it as like a midway it just is what it is he's in a house full of homosexuals and hoes and uh he's literally trying to figure out who he's gonna be in life but in a fun way one of the other things i felt was like uh in the beginning of it when especially when the beginning music started it was like in primary school when i used to watch those old movies you know those old movies from bat like annie and all of that i always used to like as a child wish i existed in that time and got into those type of adventures i'd love reading enid blyton or enid blyton uh and like read like the famous five and stuff and i'd wish i'd got into those adventures with all those kids and everything it seemed like a magical time and by uh, all accounts it was a magical time uh minus and uh, a fl flourishing time uh minus the social issues that um were taking place uh back then i wish that um Honestly speaking, uh, people of all races got to enjoy it as much as they could without all of those issues um, 
disrupting them coming together and enjoying that magical time you know it would have been dope uh but that's been me like comment subscribe with the post notifications and uh justin let's just say justin payton thank you passport and i got the stamp for my visa back to the bleachers wag she a diva last fall i was on my ass now i g'd up wag nigga keep up black when i <laughs>